Hello, this video will show you how to access sample versions of the City and Guilds on-screen delivered functional skills assessments. This assessment will help you to familiarise yourself with the Evolve environment in preparation for your on-screen exam. So here we are on the City and Guilds functional skills qualifications page 3748 and you have two tabs here, one for information and documents. If you were to click on documents, you will find the practice papers. So for example, if you go to level two and click on assessment materials, you will find um, paper assessments for English, maths and ICT. However, we want to access the on-screen assessment. So we click on information and we scroll down and you'll find the levels entry one all the way through to level two. And when we click on level two, and scroll down, you will find the on-screen assessments. Now, it's worth noting that this is a navigation tool. It's intended to help you um, familiarize yourself with Evolve. So you can use the assessments, but they are not marked. If you wish to get a mark for the work you've done, then you need to take a print screen off it and send it to your tutor. So let's have a look at English um, today. Let's start off with the writing. If we click on it and we just click on OK, and this is the Sports Fest paper, and we click on Confirm. It will take us to four tabs which um, help us navigate. Tell us a little bit more about these pages. So we have a timer up here and we have a progress bar here which tells you how much of the paper you've completed and you're aiming for 100% here and uh, once you've completed the paper you will find your candidate number up here. You can move through the paper using the next button at the bottom and then back again using the back button but you can also navigate through the paper using the buttons on the left hand side by clicking on the number. In addition, you have a preference button, it means you can change the appearance of the screen and the text to suit your needs and then click on OK. And again, the instruction I'm giving you is also contained in the help button. So at any point you forgot, maybe you've forgotten um, what you need to do and how to navigate, then you can always click on the help button and that will explain it to you. So. Um, you have source documents that you can read and if you click on let's say document one it will open up and you can click and drag it around to where you want it you can open more than one source document click and drag and let's drag it there and remember you can use the space bar on the right hand side to help you access the whole document and if you no longer want to um, use it, you can just click on X. Now here's an example of the type of um, answer box you may get. You can click in it and then you can uh, type your answer. Let's get rid of that document. Uh, let's have a look at navigation page three. It's giving you another example of the type of um, answer box you might find. And this is an email, so you can click in here and uh, write your email address. You could put a copy in there, or you could put a subject, and you can um, um, type in your response in the box. And when you're ready to start your exam, you need to click on the Start Exam button. Now, this was a, a sample of a level two writing paper it tells you that you have one hour 15 minutes to complete the exam however city and guilds have reduced that down to one hour five minutes at the moment as you can see the time has now started to uh, count down so you need to keep an eye on this um, because any work that you've typed in this uh, um, sample assessment will be lost when this timer goes down to zero so if you want your tutor to mark it, you need to take a print screen of the page and send it to your tutor. There's two questions in the writing paper. And if you can click on the um, number button, but you could also use the next button down here. And here's question one. 
and here's the source document that you need to refer to click on that and you can click and drag that to wherever it suits you and then it also gives you the um, criteria that you're going to be marked on when you've decided on what to write you click in your box and you um, write your response now actually I made an error there and it's worth noting that there is no spelling grammar or punctuation check in evolve okay let's click out of there so you can write your response in the box there and once you finish you can click on next to move on to question two but if you weren't happy and you wanted to go back and you wanted to remind yourself that you want to complete question one again later or you weren't sure about it you can actually click on flag and a little flag appears next to question one which just will be a reminder for you to tell you to go back and, and have a look at it again now we want to move on to question two again we've got an empty box here in which to um, write our response and uh, once you've finished you can see that the progress bar is now complete and it shows you the hundred percent and the timer is still counting down I've just realized I've got a flag against question one so I can just click on question one it will take me back to that question and I can continue um, uh, writing in the box and if I click on flag it will get rid of it once I'm happy with my my answer once I've finished the paper I can just click on finish and if I'm happy then I can click on finish however if I want to take a print screen to send it to my tutor for marking I can do and then click on finish finish and then exit and it will take you back to the city and guilds um, web page let's have a look at the reading sample and again we click on OK and this is the fun day paper we click on confirm we have the same four navigation pages and if you need to go through them again you can however we're going to start the reading exam and you have a scenario giving you some background information as to what they want you to do you've got at the moment here 15 questions in the sample assessment and the time has now started remember when this reaches zero um, the paper will will close but for the sample assessment um, remember to capture any information you've typed so you can send it to your tutor for marking you have a progress bar here and your candidate number will be at the top when you're ready to start just click on next and it will take you to the first question it's a multiple choice and your source documents are here uh, it's worth noting that you can open more than source more than one source document we're opening source document 2 and you can click and hold and move them to where you want there we go and if you decide you want to read this document remember you can use the space bar on the side to scroll up and down and then once you've decided what your answer is going to be you can click in the um, answer box however if you're not sure about your answer and you want to come back to it later remember you can flag it and then the little flag will show against the question that you've uh, you want to highlight now you can move on by clicking on next or you can click um, on the button on the left hand side here's a box to um, write your answer as soon as you've attempted a question the um, black button turns into a grey button and you continue answering all the questions until you finish and remember if you flagged something you can go back by just clicking on the the button and you think okay yes I've changed my mind actually I want to say C and remember to keep an eye on the clock and when you finish just click on the finish button and finish and exit thank you